This is day before the opener. <clears throat> Doing some scouting. And we got some fresh tracks. Pretty cool. Good sign. I got camp all set up. Um, Tanner's gonna get up here tonight real late. Cause he's working. But uh, yeah, it'll be me and Tanner. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we get into him. Maybe see something tonight. That'd be awesome. and up here all afternoon, evening. Haven't glassed up anything, but ripped a couple vehicles out. We got a bull vehicle back at us. Sounds like he's a little ways over this way, but I'm gonna go try to get eyes on him, get a better idea where he's at for the morning. But that's awesome. Love to hear him talking. I can hear him around. <laughs> Open in the morning. Any words? Gotta keep the tradition going. <laughs> That's, That's it. Right I do. Can't jinx it. What do you think happened? I think tubbies. I don't know. They had the secret elk sauce today. We had spike sauce. Yeah, we had spike sauce. We had good elk sauce, but we didn't have the right elk sauce. This guy's been. I don't know what he's doing. He shot once, and then. An hour later, shot four times, and then another hour later, shot again. So, we're trying to come up with situations in our head of what he's doing. So far, we have either, oh yeah, and we haven't seen any elk spook out or anything, so. So far, we have he either legally shot the spike, or he shot an elk with the first shot, wounded it, and tracked it. Tried to shoot it again four more times. And apparently, just still didn't kill it, and then maybe just now killed it. So those are the two we've got so far. But we had an elk in our sights today, just not a legal one. Just not a legal one. Tyler was pretty happy to go on the trigger, though. How's your nap? Oh, okay. it's like... 
Did I hate kill elk? Mm-hmm. What's the secret? Good nap. So they sleep, so you sleep too. <laughs> so they only know they only come out when you're well rested. <laughs> What was that? What? You wanna do what? Nothing. <laughs> How was that? For a first time in a year. Not terrible. Top chef. Terry Olson here today. Call me Gordon Ramsay. What are we chefing up? Some Idaho meal deer backstrap. <laughs> Here's a finished product.
What was that? It's that cracked pepper, son. <laughs> Not Fresh too bad. What happened? Saw five cows, two bulls and a spike, also three bulls. Um, right at last light with like 30 minutes to spare. Kind of fed their way down into a bottom about 500, between like 430 and 500 yards. Um, so a little bit out of range. And then uh, they pulled a sneaky sneak on us. sneaky sneak on us. <laughs> and they freaking did We're it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we would. Waited for like 10 minutes to see if they'd pop up onto the meadow we were watching and then uh, pulled a sneaky sneak and they just skirted down the whole bottom of the ravine. Uh, probably kind of boarded the private, honestly. And then uh, we would kind of hurry down there and skirted down <laughs> there and no elk. Nope, they were gone. They don't exist. Tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> I gotta head back and go to school. I think you're still a student. I gotta go do homework. Okay. <laughs> Chilly this morning. We got some boiling. We're gonna make some breakfast. Good morning. So long now. Dinner went home. But uh, keep trying to get back on these up that we found last night. They, made, they definitely pulled a slip. Last night, but there's a few other hunters that are on the thing on the other side of this and in the bottom. But uh, we're gonna keep an eye out and hopefully be on their escape route. Or we'll, we'll find them. I just smoked the bowl. Didn't have the GoPro or nothing ready. We just, we just got a bull. I hit him perfect the first shot. He skylined right above me here. Oh, he was right there, skylined. And he turned broadside, came right down. He went a little bit to the right. I don't know how far, maybe 200. And I just drilled him. I got another one in him, two shots in him. And he went to this bottom, so let's go see if we can find him. Right up there at the top of the skyline, and he just went down to that drop. So let's go find him. Just got up here to my first shot and kind of trying to figure out his tracks. He's having a hard time really finding blood. I don't think I'm on his, the right track. This thing is scattered with elk tracks. But we just found him. He died where I lost sight of him. He didn't go 50 yards. <laughs> Bull down, baby. Look at that. Not too much prettier sights. A little bit of blood right here. Check this out. Six. 
Well, decent six point on the ground. Nice fronts. A little weaker back end, but awesome bull. Just a tough hunt, and we had some opportunities, but man, I was feeling, you know, shot, went and shot rocks twice this week. And then this guy stepped out right at 200, and skyline just beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, hunters still everywhere, but shoot, we got him down. We worked our butt off for this now, and I'm gonna have to do a lot of work by myself. Wish Tanner was here still for this, but man, this was fun. Good trip. It's always fun hunting with the buddy, but uh, it's always fun to share success too. Man, what well, smoked him here in the shoulder twice. So, guns on. I took my time with the shot. It worked. But, not bad. Got front back straps. First load, and probably at least have another load, heavy one if we can do it. But it's not too far, but it's a pretty sketchy trail back. So, give it a go. She look. Feels heavy. Oh, I made it back to blue with the first load. Whew. Heavy one. I'm gonna try to do this in two loads. So, we gotta go back up. Headed back in for hopefully the last load. So, might be in the dark, but we'll see. Jeez, I am dirty. I didn't video packing this heavy meat out, but two loads for a bowl. That's, a, that's the best I've ever done. But oh, man, it was sketchy and heavy. Whew. We made her back. Now we gotta go break down camp and get a damn shower. But, whew. yeah. It would have really been nice Tanner was here for this, for sure. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. We got a bull. We might be sleeping in a real bed tonight. <laughs>